All right, we should be. Why should that be seen in this area? Should be back. All right, I just don't want to get killed by his guards again. So wait, they just attacked me and then just left me there, or what? Like, how did I get back to the camp? That's what I'm wondering. <laughs> I, I don't know. I would like to find this uh, treasure. Actually, I think I should have access to it because I think I grabbed the keys earlier. Oh, crap. I might be able to take out this guy. There's a whole nother area down here. Shoot. Oh, and of course, of course, they would walk by each other. I mean, I could blow this thing up. But I don't want to, like, attract all the attention. And of course, the wealth is in that tent. However, this guy's going to walk close to it. Damn it. Did nothing. Oh, come on. Did they really see me? Suck it. And that's not the guy who killed me last time, but kind of looked like it. I can't believe- I didn't even see that arrow coming at me. I thought the other guy was throwing something. Ouch. Stomp! Oh my god, dude. Where's the other archer? You want to try to shoot me again? I guess not. Damn it. Oh. Almost had it. There we go. Crap, what the hell? I really would just want to sneak into this tent and grab this wealth. Oh, crap. What the? <laughs> All right, Eivor has force powers confirmed. I just pulled that guy towards me without even being close to him. Got my carbon ingots so I can buy a spear, hopefully. Moving. Where is he moving to? Who knows. I'm gonna go around this way. Oh, no, no, no. You don't see anything. Seriously, there's a random guy here. All right, 
Alright. Now I have some high ground. I might be able to just get the drop on him. Also, you know what I just realized? Gorm is one of the, uh, the targets for the order. I wasn't even thinking about that. Gorm, did you find Olaf the Unlucky? I did. I locked him away for thieving. And when I return, I will see that the beasts of the woods pick at his flesh till his bones are clean. Nobody steals from me. And walks away breathing. Damn, dude. How the hell did he see me? I thought I had the line of sight cut off by this cloth here, but I guess not. Oh, shit. No, I don't think so. There. You're done. I don't think... <laughs> I totally teleported through his attack. Oh god. Why would you grab that guy? Oh. God damn it. Uh oh. Shooting arrows at me. There we go, you're done. Gotta take care of this guy. This person's still shooting arrows from across the way. Oh, come on, stop backing away. Shoot me or not? God damn it. Thank you. Whoops. All right. Get the hell out of here. Where the faithless dead come to die again. This is where ghosts fade to mist to be forgotten. Your meddling has doomed us all, crow of battle. More lies from a liar born. Now speak the truth. What brought the order to this place? To free a goddess. A creature of power and light, buried by the Jotnar 
in ages past. A pity, Gorm. You will not meet her now. Gorm's crystal eye. It hums with a strange feeling. Unearthly. What was Gorm digging for? Something deep inside this cave. Olaf should know his tormentor is dead. I owe him that much. Uh huh. Interesting. <laughs> well, now I'm uh, even more confused. Is that that? Uh, orb looks very similar to the thing that powered the uh <laughs> the uh simulation machine thing the one where we left Basim for like a thousand years I don't know looks very similar to that so I mean maybe there's something here that's similar and uh maybe that's the one that Desmond Miles accessed and turned on I don't know oh god damn it but also interesting um that place was Niflheim so now the whole fight with uh Odin, where we kept dying over and over again. I guess we were in Niflheim for a bit. <laughs> I didn't, I didn't realize that. But now that we got the explanation, it makes a lot more sense. No need to hide now, Olaf. Gorm is dead. Gorm, dead? B by your hand? He paid a bloody price for broken honor. I will not say more. Return to your sister. Oh, I will. Yet I would first join the villagers at their fire. They tell stories and I like to listen. Though I do not hear. Story time? Telling sagas of their own? Yes, yes! They tell stories, yes, come, listen! Zokki, rarondunde, wasago horori, neyotzi zizu. Waharu, hau, toyedene. Zinuwe Zokki, o sumagu, ya untke doda, ahyarek, dogatka negre. Tunda ya wasi, rarondo de, ya sagorege. O sumagu, ya eant dat ne, ne yotzi zizu. Zi wa agoyant dat haje, wa eena hadu, zi nahoda wa ekweni. Niat de gahderege. Ya ehoe, zi ya eant dat ne, zi de jutsu wagard us. Gods, Gahnaraga, dog wagard a duhas. I do not understand. Ah, oh, oh, you want me to tell a story? All right, let me think. Mm -hmm. 
A story of betrayal, of selfish malice, and of gods who act as spoiled children. Of all our many gods, it is Odin who is the most revered. He is the All-Father, the High One, the Wise King. But for all his glories, he can also be the most elusive of his kind. Selfish, solitary, stubborn, even cruel. In days long gone, it came to pass that Odin's son Balder died suddenly, felled by his only weakness, mistletoe. Believing his son's death an accident, Odin sent a message to the Jotun, Hel, asking her to return his beautiful boy to life. Hel agreed, but on one condition. Only if every living creature in the Nine Worlds shed a loving tear for Balder. At once, Odin sent word to every corner of the world, asking all to weep for his beloved boy. And all did. But one. A Jotun named Thok refused to cry for Balder. Let Hel keep what she has received, Thok said with malice. And that was that. Balder was gone forever. Send on a funeral ship across the sea, buried in Midgadir, amid trees and rocks. What Odin did not know is that Thok was none other than the trickster Loki in disguise. A god he knew as a friend. Worse still, it was Loki who led Baldur to his death by a sprig of mistletoe. All these tricks and feints Loki had conceived. Some say it was in Loki's nature to be so cruel. Others argue it was revenge for deeds done by Odin to Loki and his children. There is a third view, that all these acts kind and cruel, were sown long ago in the pattern of their lives. That we are not the authors of our own destiny, but only its readers. And that we... Oh. <laughs> that we should fight against this view, for it is deeply unwelcome. Anguagara do has say ne at no water of garda. Nene o neot ti what had that no yake. Gorum brought this stone across the whale road for a strange purpose. I do not know why, but it seems to belong to this land. Yos gods. Gwa, Ras nu sage, what neat da herde. Dagwa weird at go? Take it and guard it. Maybe that one day you will know its purpose. Thank you. Each of you. For all you have done. Aya Watski. Yeti Sotogungaha. Ayeza Hardahda. Gatnardaga. Alright, that was <laughs> That was an interesting story. And I'm trying to like <sighs> I'm trying to remember back to Assassin's Creed 3 to see if there's any connection there because I do remember Assassin's Creed 3 took place during the Revolutionary War and your character was a Native American. I'm pretty sure. So now I'm wondering did Eivor leave the orb here and then did we find it when we were playing as that character? I think his name was Connor, maybe? I'm not really sure. But maybe we found it here or somewhere around here. And then, kind of similar to what happened at the end of this game, um, Desmond Miles figured out, hey, the orb might be in this area, and he comes over here and then he unlocks everything and that type of thing. I don't know. I, I really want to remember, but I just can't. It's been like... Uh, 2012 was, what, eight years ago? Eight and a half years ago? <laughs> it's been a while since I played it. They did remaster the game, so maybe I should go and just play that. 
but yeah I, <laughs> I don't know I don't know if I would actually like record that or what because honestly if I was to record or stream the entire Assassin's Creed series it would take a long time probably honestly it would probably take years <laughs> it would take years for me to get through that game or through the series I guess But yeah, this this might be tying into that. This could very well be tying into Assassin's Creed 3. And if it is, cool. If not, <laughs> I don't know. But I, I like that I, I, I like that uh, Eivor just told one of the legends from Norse mythology. I wish they would do that for like all the Norse mythology stories. Just have Eivor explain it. Or tell the story. I mean, I, I would just love to sit here and listen to that the entire time. Probably wouldn't record it because it would probably be kind of not too interesting for a lot of people, especially for people watching a Let's Play. But for me, dude, I would love to just sit here for like an hour and just listen to Eivor tell stories of the Norse myths. That would be so cool. <laughs> Oh well. Yalrav Yorvik, you shirked your work for quite some time. Yora is no more. My name is Eivor, a Drenger of the Raven Clan. My purpose is fulfilled. Purpose? <laughs> what purpose? Gorm is dead! The troll is dead! Olav! Sister, let us celebrate. Gorm Kötveson is no more. Slain by Eivor Ravenfriend. Eivor Forest Rider. Eivor Olavusever. What is this? I had a long-standing blood feud with Gorm and his clan. It is now laid to rest. Oh, the skulls will sing of this day. How Eivor traveled far and wide, hunting Gorm along the world's rim. Songs or not, Gorm is dead. Now I suggest you leave this place. There is no purpose for us here. I... I do not disagree. Gordon was a madman and a troll indeed. But he paid us in silver and that was enough. Brother, are you well? I feared the worst for you. I am well, yes. Oh, so well. And I may stay to linger one season or two with the friends I have made. As you wish, brother. And you, Eivor, where will you go? Across the sea with us, or back into the woods? Uh, I actually want to stay here for a second. Remain, but I will ready because... And return. I can linger a few days in port. Speak to me when you're ready to sail. I, I kind of forgot I wanted to go to the trader one more time, because I do have... I, I should have enough supplies to, uh by a spear. All were the waves we say. Let me speak to Good this stranger. guy as well. Thank you for your help. I heard what happened. We are just about to set off on our grand hunt for the fearsome beast. If the thirst of the hunt itches your throat, will you join us? Okay. Into the unknown we go. Join us, kinsmen. This beast bested us last time. We should be on our guard. Well, we can get this mystery done as well. I don't mind doing that. I might get another level up out of it. Look, the more XP, the better. Because <laughs> I don't want to be, like, super underleveled for uh, Hamptonshire, but we might be. But if I'm... Tracks. There is no mistaking it. It came from the same creature that attacked us. Oh, gosh. Dude, that that's kind of gross. But you know, if I if I get enough uh, XP, I'll be able to level up quickly. Oh, what the? Oh, 
I just got headbutted by a deer. <laughs> Why? I didn't do anything. Can you hear it? It's close. I feel it. Is it one of these like cougars or something? Or is it a wolf? I don't know. I don't know what we're looking for. Wolf. It's done. Good fighting. Ah, oh, what a beast we felled. You show true grit out there. Thank you for joining our hunt. Predator or prey, you are what you choose to do. Anna did so well. Uh, you two, of course. Now we can return home with our head high. We are done I mean, here. <laughs> uh, if we ever meet again back on familiar ground, you are welcome to join us. All right. I mean, I did all the work, so. Yeah. All right, is there a way to... F I can fast travel to this place. Okay, good. Oh, I... I'm gonna go to the trader and uh, hopefully get some gear. I mean, even though I don't need it, still would be nice to have. Just in case we come back here at some point. Uh, unfortunately, I don't really remember where anything is. Stretch your wings right, soon. It's over here. Also, it seems like all the traders have like the same, uh, the same items for sale, depending on the area you're in, which is good. God, the Jodadu. I mean, I'm glad they have like all the same items. I'm gonna buy the spear, and that's all I can buy. I must be on my Let me equip that. Put on the spear. Increase heavy damage when dodging. You know, maybe I should swap these. Actually I could have just done that <laughs> a different way. Oh well. Uh we're down here, I think. Range and stealth, sure. All right, three twenty-three. Yeah, we should be able to handle Hamptonshire. Will it go that well? Eh, I don't know. We'll find out. Yeah, but it's like all the traders in this place have the same items, so you don't have to worry about, you know. Finding a certain trader that has like good deals or certain items. You can just go to anybody and they all have the same thing pretty much. And it's, I think it's like that in England too. And Norway probably. Which is good because you know, I, I don't want to be going like looking for a certain item and it's like, well only this trader has that item. No, it's, it, it's pretty much like, I mean it would be like going to a, uh, some store nowadays like oh I need this thing well I'll just go to Target and it doesn't matter where I am in the country <laughs> wherever I go they're probably gonna have the same thing you know the stuff they have in San Francisco is probably the same as they have in New York so yeah anyway let's stop rambling and move on I do Ready to lift and on our long voyage back to England? Yep. I will sail with you. Let's go. Take care of yourself, Olaf. In this life and the next. Goodbye. Goodbye. 
Far whence the whale rode before me. Dark are the deeds that brought me here. Fate may bind my bones to this land. For now, I walk the sea. Vinland Ark completed. Also, I totally missed the opportunity to make a joke. To quote Patrick Starr. Vinland! Anyway. Um... There was something I was gonna say important, that, that was important before that. Oh yeah. Uh... Eivor has to come back to Vinland at some point, right? Best tell her the good news. Because... In the present day stuff, Eivor's grave is in Vinland, or in North America, so she has to go back at some point and just stay there for the rest of her life. So, maybe they'll explain what happens to her, you know, like, like hopefully she, she did die, like, peacefully or something? And wasn't, like, murdered by somebody. <laughs> but who knows. Who knows. Um. But yeah. I, I hope they explain it, or at least allude to it. But, you know, it doesn't matter. Do I have anything new here? I don't think so. Yeah, probably not. Ravensthorpe is now a proper village. How quickly time speeds along and how rapidly things develop. We can now build a few more expansions on our current farms and houses. Here's a quick breakdown. Second and final cattle farm. Second and final grain farm. Second and final fowl farm. Can I use my bird here? Alright. So we do need to upgrade the cattle farm. Grain farm. And Fowl Farm. And we still need to upgrade that. But there's really no... There's no more raids to find. I mean, there's one up here. Well, actually, there's three. So maybe I can do that. I don't know. Maybe I'll do these raids by myself and just... Go and uh, upgrade the rest of the camp next time. Or maybe I can go and take out the rest of the Zealots. Dude, they all got marked on the map. Interesting. Oh yeah, I should check the order as well. And Gorm is down. The father almost figured out. We got... Interesting. 340, 280. They just marked them all. I guess because we killed Gorm, everybody's just like... revealed? <laughs> I... I guess. I... Whatever. Oh yeah, I can upgrade my gear. So do I still have the stuff I got from Vinland? No. That sucks. Alright, so the lowest level one are the trousers, so we'll upgrade that. And we'll upgrade. Upgrade the helmet. Alright. Alright, let's go speak to Ranvi, and hopefully we don't trigger like any main story Good to stuff. See you. You've been away for so long. Were you worried? Of course I was. Such a long voyage. Did you do what had to be done? I did. And I'm eager to focus on problems closer to home. Good. It is done. Gorm is dead. The Kjotveson clan is wiped from this world. Good. I would like to hear everything about your journey to Vinland when you have time. One day. Alright. Cool. So, that's gonna be it for today. 
Um, I, I'm not gonna talk to Ranvi about Hamptonshire just yet. Uh, I am, I am very tempted to. I'm very tempted to just finish up taking out these uh, these zealots and also getting the raids done. But I don't know. I might do that on my own. The raids I'm not too interested in recording because they're pretty much all the same. You run in there with your crew and you fight and it's kind of wonky. <laughs> It feels kind of weird going through the raids because, you know, everyone fights at the gate and then you can just run past and then you're running around just, oh, I guess I'm all by myself. <laughs> Nobody's attacking me or anything. So, yeah, I'll probably do the raids on my own. The Zealots, I, I do want to record, so maybe we'll do that. Yeah, maybe I'll just do that. Maybe next time we'll, we'll go after the Zealots. We'll try to take out most of them. Because what do we have? They're all within my power level, except for Ber Berthen. I don't know. Berkton. Whatever. Where is he? He is... Well, he's over here, so we'll just stay away from this area for now. So, yeah, I think that's probably going to be the plan for next time. So, I'm going to probably try to do these raids here on my own, get the supplies, and then when we come back next time, I'll hopefully be able to upgrade the camp to get it to the max level. And then we'll take out these zealots over here. And then we can move on to Hamptonshire and hopefully finish up the main story. And by doing the raids and killing off the zealots, maybe I'll level up enough to where Hamptonshire won't be too scary. Because so I'm at 323, so we're only 17 levels away. So it shouldn't be that bad. But yeah, I think that's gonna be it for today. Like I said, when we come back next time, I will hopefully have enough supplies to upgrade the rest of the camp. And I will talk to Ranvi about Hamptonshire. And we'll go and kill the Zealots. Maybe I'll kill the Zealots first and then talk to Ranvi. Just in case we get thrown into the story randomly. I don't think we will, but you never know. So yeah, we're, we're getting close. We're getting close to the end of the game, but... Or we're we're getting close to finishing the game, I should say. We, uh, it feels like we already finished the game. <laughs> or we already experienced the end of the game. So I still don't know about that, but... Yeah. At least we got the Vinland Dark done. The only thing left is Hamptonshire. But I do want to take out the Zealots. And, uh... Yeah, we'll do... We'll hopefully get started on that next time and... Uh, hopefully we'll be finishing up this game soon because there are some other games that I really want to play and uh, I need to finish this game first <laughs> so yeah anyway that's gonna be it for today thank you for watching and hopefully I will talk to you all later